we missed you yesterday. Um, I've been having technical difficulties with the camera, so I decided to do it from my phone. But I wanted to do something a little different this week and introduce you all to the sweet face. So this is Aya. This is my brother's German Shepherd, and he adopted her back in May. So um, kind of a backstory is that my brother never really had a dog of his own in his adult life um, until he got a black German Shepherd named Knox. So he and Knox were like the best of buds. They spent all their time together. Um, when he wasn't working, she was his confidant and just really everything to him. And unfortunately, back in February, she one day got really sick and it turned out that she had um, like a autoimmune disease. And um, several days in an emergency vet clinic later, and a lot of lot of money to try and save her and um, ultimately it just it was her time she was only six years old um, and my brother was devastated so of course me being me I always think best way to honor one of uh, your pets that's passed is to help another one out and give another one a home my brother wasn't as convinced he didn't know if he would ever have another dog actually but I just when the time was right I just started sending him different shepherds that I found, whether it was other black ones or puppies or mixes. Um, and some really sparked his interest, but they would be in California and you couldn't adopt them to Arizona. Um, and then one day someone, um, and I wish I knew who so I could tag them, shared this sweet little face. Um, her name was Sage. She was listed as like roughly a three-year-old German shepherd and she had come from a hoarding situation where she was being kept outside with um, several other dogs, I think like roughly 12, and her owners had recently gone to jail, um, which landed her in a foster home, and then she kind of bounced between two foster homes, um, but what really caught his eye is that um, it said all these things about how sweet she was, but that she liked you to hold her hand, and um, that's one thing that his last German Shepherd did. Sorry, it chokes me up. Um, because you see a, a young man who can kind of have a tough exterior just melt at the thought of a dog having a similar characteristic that his best friend did. So um, he took her on a foster trial, um, fell in love with her shortly thereafter, and decided to keep her and make it official. Uh, on the first day, he got to my mom's house um, in Scottsdale. She actually <laughs> bolted out of the car from him with a leash on and subsequently was like running around the desert for 48 hours. It was crazy. Um, we had an amazing organization called Heart here in Arizona that helped to finally track her down and trap her. Um, and ever since then, she pretty much won't leave his side. So with that, she's developed some pretty serious separation anxiety. She was said to not um, do well in crates, and so he's just been letting her roam the apartment. Well, the thing about Aya is this little nose gets her into a lot of trouble, and she tends to counter-surf or get into the garbage, and she's just become really destructive in her separation anxiety, as well as like eating things that she shouldn't, which is um, concerning and worrisome as far as just her overall health. Uh, so, so my cat and my little chihuahua mix are playing in the background, so if you see her, that's what she's watching. Um, anyway, so she came to me needing to just get a refresher course in crate training. We bought her a much larger kennel or crate as well as a heavier duty one so that she couldn't hurt herself if she were to panic in it. And so she's just doing a quick two weeks with me because I didn't want to exasperate her separation anxiety from my brother. The good news is, is that they come to visit us all the time, so it's like a mini vacation for her. She doesn't know 
um, any better and it's not like she doesn't know who we are or our pets or anything. So she's been doing really awesome. We've been working on other things with her too as well as her manners and basic obedience and she's just overall a really, <laughs> really great dog. And um, I'm just so excited at the thought of her spending the rest of her life with our family because she's just such a sweet dog. Um, a much different dog from his last German Shepherd, but just I think the one that he needed in his life. So I wanted to take the time to introduce you all to her. I guess we're going to end with Rooster sharing the spotlight, but um, Next week, I'm hoping to just kind of make my way through my own dogs. I hope you all enjoy the Christmas holiday and remember that pets are forever. So this Christmas, if you were thinking of getting someone, a dog or a cat for Christmas, maybe consider adopting one or fostering first instead and giving a, a homeless pet a home for the holidays. We'll see you next week. Yeah, you sweet girl. Yeah, you sweet girl.